Hello, Cecilia Fountain here, explaining how events and RSVPs and registrations can work. I'm going to be in my alter ego Crystal Fountain's login, and she just is an attender at Center Point Church. But if she gets a link to this event, and when I say getting a link, I mean that, let me move this down here a little bit. Every single screen in CCB has an HTML or a URL link, so this HTTPS. You can copy and paste this into any area, and it will, let's just prove that it will, pull up the event, especially if it's published to the public website. If it's published to a campus-wide calendar only, they will probably have to log in to see the event. So please note that. But anyway, so Crystal wants to view this event. She would like to register for it. So if she clicks register, she's been, quote, registered. I'm going to pop back over to my other screen for a login of testing123. Testing123 is the owner of this event. So if he goes to his calendar and clicks the test event, and managing the event with the guest list, he sees somebody is requesting. And he can change her status to yes, maybe no, not responding, requesting, or remove from the event. I'm going to remove her so that we can use her again. That was re, um, requesting to register for the event. The reason it said register and not RSVP is this box down here is checked in the event settings. You can change that by editing the event and going to the bottom. I'm going to unselect it, hit save, pop back over to Crystal, pop off the event, back on, and you'll see the box now just says RSVP, and she can select yes, maybe, or no. Back to testing one, two, three. Back to requiring a leader approval or form response. So I showed you the le leader approval at the beginning. It just gives them the register button, and they show up on the guest list as requesting. Now, the next layer that you can do is link a form to an event. So I'm going to go into my test form. I'm going to edit it under the form settings tab at the bottom is the automation. Add an automation of event with my event name. Make sure it's the event that you are wanting to have linked. Hit save and finished. The other thing to make sure of, or that you can do in this process, sorry I'm bopping around here, is in your event, you can limit how many people can register. Now, you do that under attendance settings. I can see this working for like a youth camp where you can only take 200 kids. But you want the form to have a deposit availability or a pay in full availability. If you set the attendee limit at the event level and then send out the event link, not the form link, then people will be pushed to the event. I'm going to pop up back over to Crystal's view here. They're going to be pushed to the event. They're going to want to register. Every time someone clicks register, it applies against that attendee limit after they have filled out the form. So the form shows up. The person fills out the form. Maybe they only want to do a down payment. And they want to click next. And they want to finish and pay. And then they have to enter all their payment information, which I should have set up differently. So, sorry about that. Anyway, you get the point. When they finish and pay, they will fill out the form 
I'm going to pause and fix that. Okay, I'm back. So now Crystal's going to click register. She's going to get the form. She's going to pay her deposit and click next. And she's going to finish and pay. And I have this particular form set up so that it doesn't require specific payment information. Click good. She's done. Okay, so she has registered. I'm going to close the form. The event now shows that she's attending. And even on her calendar, I forgot to show you before, she didn't have the event on her calendar before, or maybe she did. I don't know. If she didn't, she would now because she's an attender. And if we go back to testing one, two, three, I apologize for my jumping around and the guest list and update it with the refresh button, you can see that there's one person coming, Crystal Fountain. So you can use this event as your main roster. So if somebody needs to not come after all and they're going to get refunded, you can just remove them from the event. But from the event actions, preview, Sorry, I'm, I'm, you can send a mail merge or you can print labels. I'm sorry, I thought that we could, from here, download some information. I guess you have to go to the form itself to download the form responses. But at least you can get a head count here and cap your attendance at, at whatever number you decided. So when the 201st person tries to register for this event, it's going to be locked out. At that point, you might want to create a waiting list event or something to point people to, but this is a way you can do events and forms connected together and keep a running guest list of who's coming.